Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you solution for some of the table problem. For example, here the problem that I'm going to describe is how to write text of a table. Now it is very simple if you can just move your cursor above the table and start typing text. But what if your table is the first content of your Word document? See, this is my Word document and my table is a starting content. So if I try to move my cursor above the table, I cannot do it. So I've already placed my cursor at the first cell of the table and then I'm trying to move above the table or before the table by pressing the left arrow or up arrow and Microsoft Word is not allowing me to do that. Now, how to write the text above this table in this context? There are two ways by which you can do it. First is you have to go to the starting of the table. You have to bring your cursor to the starting of the table. To do that, just place the text at the starting of your first cell and then try to press left arrow. And the moment where your cursor doesn't move, that means you're at the starting of the table. You can also use a shortcut. You can click anywhere inside the table and then press Control Home, which is a shortcut to go to the first content or first letter of the table. Now, once you're done, you simply press Enter and that will create a space above a table where you can write. I'll just do a Control Z and show you the second method. Now, again, my table is the first content of my word document right i cannot move my cursor up now the second method is you move your cursor anywhere on the topmost row then go to the layout tab in here click on split table this will allow you to add text above the table right so these are the two methods by which you can insert text above a table specifically if a table is the first content on your document so that's it in this video and if you want to learn more about microsoft word especially about tables the link of that video is there where i have discussed solution to the multiple problem that you generally encountered while working on table and there is also a link for other videos which i feel very useful so the link of those videos will be there in the description and if you feel that this video was helpful please give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more such videos on Microsoft tips and tricks, then please consider subscribing and press the bell notification to get notified. If you feel that this video was really helpful, this then consider supporting our channel by giving a super thanks. That's it. See you in next video.